Yo, what's up squad, back again with another banger. If you're new to the channel and you enjoy the content, hit that subscribe button slash notification bell to join the Saw Squad and start receiving weekly bangers. No more talking, roll the clip. Right now I'm thinking about calling up the wedding because I don't feel like Eric is making me as priority. Imagine what this man has to go through every day with this dumb avocado. Threatening to ditch the marriage and return back to Indonesia every time she doesn't get what she wants. Eric, you better make me a priority over drinking water. Later, I'm dying of thirst. You know what they say, Eric. What doesn't kill you make you stronger. <sighs> Wow, you're just gonna ignore me like that? Okay, be like that. Alessandro, pack your bags. We're going home. What do you want to talk about, huh? You were insisting that I become a deadbeat dad to my daughter. I'm gonna take care of my children. I'm gonna be a, a father to my children. Wow, that's thousands of dollars per year. Of course you're not a deadbeat dad, Eric. Nothing like kicking your eldest daughter to the curb for some half-priced coochie. Now back to this dumb avocado. You want Eric to stop paying his child support, then give up his parental rights so that he can take care of another man's child. Do not Cause I will never be happy. I'm not expecting you to be happy about it. It just, it is what it is. So you, you would rather get married with me and make me unhappy about it? Wow. So you would rather have him marry you and then ditch his kids to make you happy and watch him suffer having to choose you over his daughters. Wow. And knowing you, Lita, even that glimpse of happiness won't last because you'll still find ways to be unhappy with Eric. Just saying. Stop fretting about it. Everything will be fine. I will never allow us to go without and we will work hard for our future. No, Eric, you will be the one working hard for the future. If this dumb avocado manifests destiny herself and becomes the breadwinner of this household, you about to be homeless again and Tasha won't be here to save you, buddy. Let's just say how it is. You and Alice are always a priority. And you'll always be priority. But you will, but Jenica is also. No, his priority is gonna be like on the top. Where am I? See, if I was Eric, I would have reversed that and said, who's priority in your life? Me or Alessandro? Any real mother would put their kids as priority over their second lover. And if she does, she has no right to tell you not to put yours over her. Logic. You are equal footing with my daughter. No, that's not priority, me. Priority always number one. You're number one. Okay. It, then. You have to be one special avocado to make a man choose between you or his kids. And for the love of God, Eric, I cannot imagine what your kids will think of you when they see how much you're standing up for them. Grow a pair of balls, and if that's too hard, let me know. I'll send an appointment for you. Bruh. I'm gonna let Eric keep pay the child support because I do understand how it works here in America. I'm gonna let Eric pay the child support? What are you, the effing feds now? Hate to break it to you, Lita, but Eric gotta pay his dues. It's a cost that every man has to pay when they lose in the pullout game. Pull out? What's that? Another one. It is too crowded for four people and I'm a clean person. She is not. Apparently she loves dirty. Apparently you love dirty too. Have you seen your man? Bruh. It's not healthy and it's not proper. For sake. You know what's also not proper, Lita? Going into other people's room without their permission. Just saying. Eric promised me that from now on, I'm gonna be his top priority. And I think he needs to prove it by kicking out Tasha. So let me get this straight. The same person who wants to pursue a medical career and help the general population is the same person who's forcing their fiance's hand to kick out his daughter. Bravo, I hope none of your applied medical school see this. Welcome to Baraboo State University Medical School. How can I help you there, ma'am? So I was just wondering how my application was going. Well, say no more, young cattle. Let me check on the application for you. It's quite an achievement unless you got here, young cattle. <laughs> Wait a god darn minute. What kind of needle on the hashtag is this? Evil stepmother, eh? Why you? You're all good to go. Oh, hooray. Yes, so I'm ready for orientation. No, you crack smoking cattle. You good on get the crack out of here. Squad up, Nami. The squad sees you, Lita. The squad sees you. Hi. Hey. What are you doing in your room? Why are you in my room? Gotcha, bitch. This is really unacceptable. I, you know me. You know me. I have a problem with something mess, and you keep doing that all the time. Lita, what the fuck are you even tripping about? You just got here. How are you gonna start enforcing everyone around to change their lifestyle and how they live so that they can fit under your umbrella of comfort? If the place really bothers you that much, why don't you and Eric pack your bags and go find another apartment? Boom. Tell him, Sauce. Tell him. Again, you haven't paid a rent. Yeah. Okay. 
that's not even a problem anymore. Because I want you to move out. No, I don't, I don't, I don't want this anymore. Okay. That's cute. Gotcha, bitch. I talked to your dad and I, I told him, you need to leave. That is between me and my dad. If he had no, an agreement. No, I mean, like, this is the boss. My dad I, I and I the had boss an right now. The boss of what, Lita? The boss of the living doormat? Hi, I'm Matt. Shut up, Eric. Hello, darkness, my old friend. You're okay. not the boss. Oh, yeah, I am You're the boss. You're not my mother. No, no. I don't have to suck up to you and roll over and show you my belly every time you get a little upset. Gotcha, bitch. You have to leave. You have to pack everything and you just leave. Make me. Props to Tasha for being calm and having restraint. Do you know how many times I would have slapped this avocado for speaking this nonsense? And you keep doing that all the time. My dad I, I and am I the had boss an right now. Okay, I'm going to give you the proof that he's done with you because you f***ed up, okay? And I'll just call your dad. You have to leave. Oh my god, I'm going to call my dad. So imagine this. Your father was homeless for two years and you offered him to move in with you. He goes grocery shopping in Indonesia and finds a dumb avocado. Now that dumb avocado is telling you to move out and your father backs her up. Bravo. What a father. Hello? Hello? Uh, she doesn't want to move out, so I, I guess I'm going out then. Traumatic. Yeah. Traumatic. Come on. All Lita has to do to get Eric to do anything is just tell him she's leaving. If he's willing to kick out his own daughter, there's no telling what other stuff she'd be having him do. Wolf, wolf, I'm Lita's bitch. Just saying. Oh, and she said, like, um, you don't want her to move out. That's what she said. Is that true? No. I told her to no. <laughs> I hate how it looks like Lita's finding this whole thing amusing. Ooh. Like she knows what Eric's gonna say. She just wants Tasha to hear it for herself. This woman interrupted a man at work just so she could put him against his daughter. Now we know why her ex left her. We could have been a good couple. We could have had something special. But you one crazy ass bitch. You literally said it cannot look like you're defending me or she'll flip her which she already is, by the way. Yeah, because I can't give the appearance. I'm not defending you. You see how Eric almost slipped up and told the truth? Yeah, because I can't give the appearance I'm defending you. Wait a minute, Lita's still on the phone. Uh, uh I'm not defending you, you man-child. Nope, nah, me, not Eric Rosenbrook. Who that? Wait, who's this? Heh, <laughs> wrong number. Boy, if you don't get- That's just the truth. I'm not going to defend you. Tasha, you're not even staying there anymore. Just get your out. Hey, Dad, look at me. Think back and talk to me. Oh lordy, you gotta feel bad for Tasha. It doesn't matter how old you are. If your father said this to you, you would be heartbroken. Lita, you are one evil. Tasha, put me into a position where I had to choose between her or Lita. Eric, how are you still blaming your daughter for something that your avocado did? Go back to the store and buy two more avocados. Maybe then you'll have some balls. If you're not proving me that I am your priority, because what's the point? getting married. The real question, Eric Rosenbrook, is why would you marry someone who wants you to stop supporting your kids and kick them out? Here's a hint, you don't. Tasha might be angry with me now, but Tasha's not gonna run away and leave the country. If Lita went back to Indonesia, I'll never see her again. Now that logic would make sense if she was Gigi Hadid, but let's be real and let's be honest. She ain't. You can get Alita like a book at a half price bookstore, but your daughter will always, always be your daughter. Knowledge. So how serious is the situation really between Tasha and Lita? I mean, I've, I've heard there's been a blow up, but well, I have to put Lita first. So at first I thought this might have been Eric's brother or Eric's friend, but it turns out to be Eric's dad. How the hell does your dad look the same age as you, Eric? Bruh. I probably wouldn't kick a child out of the house for being a slob. Oh, I think Lita's pressure on Eric. I don't know if it's fair. Listen to your brother, Eric. He has a point. On a real note, do you know how disappointed I would be if I was Eric's father? Gee, Louie, what a spineless piece of work he is. So, uh, is this your son? Uh, according to biological modern science, but not prehistoric. Not prehistoric. What? Oh, hell no! Believe me, I know. it's not always easy to watch some of the decisions that children make and, and bite your tongue. Boom, got him, Chief. I like how he made that a direct shot at Eric and still toss out that knowledge. The wedding's coming up in a few days, and it, it's been pretty stressful. You know, I don't feel good about it. Shit, I wouldn't feel good about marrying Lita either, Eric, especially after this. I feel like I'm forcing myself to get married with you because I don't want to leave this country because I have a lot of opportunity to pursue my medical career in a year. You still want to get married, though? You dumbass motherfucker. But I had to get Tasha out of the apartment to prove to Lita that 
She is my number one priority. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the living doormat. Please give him a round of applause. Tasha was hurt by Lita, and her sisters are backing her up. I'm hoping that we can talk this out and then make sure that, you know, they're all clear and... Yeah, they have to back her up because their own father can't even do that. What's there to talk about, Eric? You made your point. If push comes to shove, you would put Lita over all three of your daughters. Let's just say it how it is. They got into this stupid argument because, oh no, everything's not proper. Holy jeez, I'm gonna die. Eric, can you explain to me how your youngest daughter has more common sense than you do? So it justifies the way that she treated me and how the both of you just threw me to the streets like I was done. What's done is done. What's done is done? Is that the best you got? Let me hear you say that again, Eric. What's done is done. You guys are getting a new stepmother. She has different views and perspectives on things. Just the boss. My dad I, I and I the boss an right now. But I'm not forcing you guys out of my life. So I'm not going to. I love you guys. Tasha, you're not even staying there anymore. Just get your out. I'm sorry, but I don't think I can go to your wedding with the way that she treated me. Care how many times she asked me to reconsider? I'm not going. Let's go. Final thoughts? So this man Eric really went through with kicking out his daughter, not on his own will but because his new coochie advised for it. I don't know what's worse, a man who sleeps on a twin bed with his avocado, who splits a sandwich between four people and sits on an air mattress while he ages like a banana, or a man who can't even protect his own daughter from being blatantly disrespected by his new fiance because she wants her room for a son that didn't even come from his nuts. Good news though Eric, the shoe fits either way, but like you said, what's done is done. On the flip side, you have this dumb avocado who's here for one thing and one thing only, a better opportunity for her endeavors. In doing so, she has to write this sorry excuse of a man coattails so that she can stay here in America to further her potential. She figures out very quickly that this man Eric in her own self-painted American dream is much less glamorous than what she had living at home with her parents. To make things more suitable for her needs, anything and everything that gets in her way will be heard and dealt with by her personal doormat. One of those things include kicking out her fiance's 19 year old daughter who she feels should be old enough to live out on her own. But let's not forget that it wasn't that long ago that this 30 year old avocado was rolling around her parents home. How poetic. Now this couple did come out with a live video claiming they were receiving death threats and jokes aside nobody deserves that kind of harassment. They did end up dropping the show moving forward so this might be the last time we'll see them. Now the family did not get any better. According to sources Lita and Eric filed a police report for harassment on Tasha and Tasha and her mother returned the favor soon after. Now I ain't no family therapist but maybe it's time to lay off the social media and stay low until the next series of dumb avocados come rolling in. But hey what do I know I'm just sipping so. <laughs>